a little, a little. All right, let's continue on before it gets too warm outside. Uh, too late already. Fucking hell, it's, uh, a little, a little. for reference, it is uh, about 82 degrees Fahrenheit in this room at uh, 10.42 a.m. Fun stuff, fun stuff. Anyways, Sakharov is still uh, blathering on about nothing. And... It's been a couple days since I played, so I need to... Okay. So I need to bring these X-16 documents to Barkeep. And... I also need to talk to the guy down in the cordon. Oh, I need to return the rifle as well. The guide side quest is an uh, optional side quest, but worth it. I won't say why, because why spoil everything? It's definitely worth it. So... going through this game pretty quickly. I mean, it may not seem like it. The currently uploaded playlist length is like five hours, and I think there are like three or so hours currently uh, recorded and sitting on the hard drive waiting for me to upload it. But for a game this size and this open that's pretty quick hell most games most games that come out these days would be done already but yeah again I want to stress that I'm playing through this time in a very linear <clears throat> fashion for the sake of the video series Freezing, I don't like you. Oh yeah, I've got this thing. I can't remember if I met... Yeah, I can't, can't remember if I met... <laughs> Learned to speak. I can't remember if I mentioned this before, but this game has, in my opinion, the best reloading animations for the pistols out of any of the games in the series. I mean... Reloading animations for the rifles are uh, kind of lackluster. I mean, this one's all right. So I, I guess the basic uh, best way to put it put it out there is uh, this game wins out of the three currently re currently released ones for pistol reloading, and the other two win for uh, rifle reloading. They also went on graphics because DirectX 10 is awesome. But, yeah. Okay, no, nothing over there. I got everything right. So, as I think I mentioned before, the uh, Mercs are back. Mercs are back in town. And... It's kind of a pain to try to sneak past them, so I'm just gonna shoot them up. And, uh... Be lucky... Be lucky enough for the game to try to... Sorry. Waste a scientific med kit on me instead of an army med kit. That's the big upside of Call of Pripyat. You can uh, assign the different med ki med kits to do God damn it. I cannot speak today. You can assign different med kits to different hotkeys. Do not go there. Go up the stairs. Oops. 
Just that last one. <sighs> I need coffee. <sighs> Luckily I've got like a court right here. Oh yeah. That's something I forgot to mention. The mercs up here will sometimes have a scope on their rifles. Much like the PSO scope. They're uh, worth a little bit of money for not a whole lot of, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, carry weight. Hmm. I can sell this. In all honesty, I never really used this weapon. I mean, when it comes to the uh, 45 ACP pistols, I generally use either the uh, 1911 USP. Actually, no. The weapons that. The 45 ACP pistols in this game that I normally use are the uh, USP and the Desert Eagle. Mostly the USP. So I think I'll continue. Uh, I'll just fire a few shots off with this. See how it handles, and I'll probably just sell it. Nothing up there. So. Actually, I don't think anything ever spawns in that container. In fact, if I'm remembering right, the only thing I ever remember being in there is the rifles of these guys that I would just, you know, lay in there. Excuse me if the uh, commentary sounds a little more breathy than usual during this uh, uh, session of uh, videos. Well, starting from uh, part 20 and uh, carrying on till whenever this session ends. It's been very warm and humid lately, and the humidity is actually making it a little tougher to breathe than normal. Fucking weather sucks. I get it. Lot of power. Screw you. I'm running. Well, that's not gonna last long. Yep, I think I'm going to use this weapon for a while. And actually, while I'm here... While I'm here... Nah, I don't feel like it. This is the area where that little task that came, popped up on the screen a little earlier well, uh, takes place. It's the, uh... Oh, somebody just fell into an anomaly. Whoa! We got... Oh. Oh. Okay, you gotta get out of here. Hey, I cannot finish a thought today. Oh, bandits. use this pistol. Yeah, basically, that area that I walked past, that I stopped in for a few seconds, that's where the uh, pack of dogs is. Well, obviously, you, you know that already, but that's the specific pack of dogs that you have to deal with for that optional quest. some friendlies.
Nice voice crack, buddy. Shoot him in the head. Ooh, artifact. That is a mica. I'm going to sell it. Did I loot this guy? No. Alright, so we got two friendlies over here. Neutrals, anyway. Three. Three neutrals. Uh, uh, uh. That's yeah, one of our fallen comrades. Fallen enemy. I'm just doing a little looting here. Guess there isn't anything in there. Sometimes uh, artifacts spawn under here. Actually, there's also a chest. Let's see if I can get it. Dangerous, but obtainable. And it's empty! Fucking hell. Well, at least we got a little party going on over here. Hey, you. Stalker, leave! We're going to take down the cordoning off. What the hell does that mean? Not good, they're all duties and loners. Duty and loners. Never remember right. Ooh, how chill. Hey. One of these is a special Yeah, you he's going to play some music for us. If I remember right, he's got a uh, specialized, unique pistol that he has to die for you to obtain. I don't feel like killing him. Hello, dude. He... Have a bolt. <sighs> okay, now screwing around. Let's get to the bar. So we can screw around there. Ha ha ha.
that song there is actually a specialized version of Dirge for the Planet by the band Fire Lake. The guitarist of that band is also the PR rep one of the PR representatives of GSC Game World. Cool trivia. And, uh, that version of the song is actually better than the version of the song that's on the, uh, album, The Temptation Journey. I said come in! Don't stand there! I said come in! Don't stand there! Hey. Right, let's turn this in first. Use your rifle. Piss off! There are, there are indeed some things there, but I don't think I'll really bother stepping in for the uh, playthrough. Hey, barman. Hey, so, Mark, you got the documents from X-16? Do you respect me? Okay, Mark Duarte. You've got the protective prototype, so you'll be safe from the emissions. I have the bunker coordinates. Don't forget that the prototype won't protect you forever. So you need to get to the bunker ASAP and turn off the burner. I don't know what will happen after that, but I am sure it will be worth it. The only thing we can be sure of is that the road to the zone center will be all you have to do is get inside the bunker below the antennas and switch them off. Man, that was a bad raid. I am curious as to why this one line of dialogue does not have a uh, voiceover. Well, all of these do. Oh. Turn this in as well. Same thing day after day. Surely some great things for sale here. When is all this going to end? Never will. It never will. It never does. <laughs> so yeah, basically this point of the game is uh Let's drink to him once more. Kinda painful. He was a good stock. <laughs> painful in the sense that look at this. You've got the exoskeleton, the when best armor in end? the game. It prevents you from sprinting, but it's the best armor in the game. And you've got this, military armor suit, which is probably the second best armor in the game. Well, excluding any unique what armors. Is this going to end? I don't think... I can't afford either of them. That sucks. Well, you've also got some pretty damn good rifles here. Black Raven. Black got, Raven. Uh, Circles above the grid. I believe that's an unscoped VSS. I might be wrong. And here we've got a G36. Both very good rifles. I think I will uh, keep with this selection of three for the time being. Just uh, acquire a bit of ammunition. That was a bad race. Buy some of these as well. Me? No. All right. I think that's good. I should be well enough equipped at this point. I've got this military suit. I've got a SSP 99M. What's here? This guy disappeared.
Well, I suppose I can uh, waste the money on this because it does include some uh, decent storyline information. Thanks, I already knew this. My information might well be of use to you, Stalker. Come here. I've always got something interesting for people like you. Yeah, My both of these two over here have well give you drops to kill people. You can't go there. Man. I guess that's fate. I'm still over encumbered. Do you respect Hello. me? No. I said so I think the next logical course of action would be to go to the cordon. While the main storyline quest tells me to go, uh, uh, let's see, not here. What is? Well, that is the. That's not me. Okay, that's the duty base. That's somewhere we can uh, stop by. Um, I've already been there, game. But yeah, the main uh, storyline tells me to go through the army warehouses up here, up here into the Red Forest. Oh, fun fact. This area is known as the Dead City. This was a level in one of the earlier builds of the game that was cut out. Most unfortunately. And uh, well, somewhere around here is what's in Clear Sky ended up being Lemansk. Lemansk. Actually, I think that kind of took the place of the, uh, whatchamacallit. Yeah, I think that actually took the place with, uh, took the place of Dead City. about this one. I don't know where I got this. Found out from crazy? This has to be connected to something different. Like, it has to be connected to... Well, unless I just got it for a month. Nope, didn't get it from him. It must be connected to something different. Like, something cut from the game. Unless it's somehow referencing a guy over here in the army warehouses. Over in this area. But he doesn't talk to you. Ah. Confused I am. And unfortunately, the uh, time period for this particular video is nearing its uh, end point, and I haven't really accomplished much. Attention, stalkers. We need volunteers for dangerous but well-paid missions. Come to the bar. Stop, Stop. Fans tend to This area is anyway. closed to outsiders. Yeah, that's nice. Deadly anomalies, dangerous mutants, anarchists, and bandits. None of them will stop duty on its triumphant march towards saving the planet. Alright. I'll save here in case their uh, coding doesn't work perfectly. Because unle unless you get the uh, blessing, as it were, they'll shoot you on sight. Oh, and also while I'm here, I might as well show you. There's another traitor. Colonel Petrenko. 
Doesn't sound like anything too great, you know, other than this thing. Stretch a little bit. Throw my back in the process, because why not? <coughs> yeah, duty main duty mainly deals with the uh, former Warsaw Pact area weaponry, AKs, AN-94s, Rosas. Of course, these uh, don't quite fit the bill. This is a Sig something, and this is a Walther. Walther are German, if I remember right. I don't remember what Sig are, but they are definitely not Russian. Might as well buy two of these while I'm at it. I can't really remember if his prices are any better or worse than uh, bar keeps. But, you know, you can get 9x39mm ammo pretty easily from him. That song, if you can't tell. Hello, stuck of join duty. <laughs> no, I think about it if I could, but they mostly took that uh, feature out of the game. Once again, thank you, THQ. I hate you. Hate. Honestly, duty aren't that bad. They're all right people. Hello, uh, brother. To talk to your Why boss. have you come? Uh, I was told to. Why are you following me? Come on, say it. What say are it. you, Dave? What are you here? <laughs> Great translation. I'm gonna shine the light in your eyes so I can see. to tackle this little uh, Hello, brother. quest here. Why have you come? Fire. Couple ways to tackle that quest there. What are you, okay. Dave? What are you here? Come on, there's plenty of room to move here. Hello, brother. Why have you come? <gasps> what are you, Diff? What are you here? 